best and we hope that we can see her. Uh, something else that's in the news that we talked a lot about yesterday, guys, is is Jeff Hardy. Uh, the video is out, too, of Jeff Hardy, his DUI, his latest DUI, his third in the last 10 years. And Jeff Hardy has given so much to the business. It's so sad to see him in this predicament. I really do hope he gets the help that he needs. I do, too, because I love Jeff Hardy. Yeah. He's, like, genuinely good people. He's good. Um He's good people. That's what kind of really, really breaks my heart. And I saw the video with the guns. I don't know why yeah. the guns. I'm still trying to figure out what the, the but. Uh, because the car started moving. He oh, probably, is that what? It, once the you pull over and then the car starts moving. Because he, he, he probably couldn't really put it in park or right whatever. And uh, they act, you know, because there are people who use their cars to go after the police. Yes, so, I know. Yeah. Um, it's a very, very unfortunate situation. Uh, kudos to AEW and Tony Khan how they handled it. And I read Tony's statement. I thought it was really, really good. And here's the other thing. You are suspended and you're not fired. We're giving you that opportunity. If the biggest thing and what Jeff needs to do is concentrate always on his sobriety. And right. that is the biggest issue that is that and I saw that would be different um, that, hey, we're, we're still going to stand by you, but you have to show that you are going to be sober. And mm-hmm. that's and, and also, hey, we'll pay for the rehab. Mm-hmm. So we're standing by you. You need to get your shit checked. And Jeff would be the first person to admit that he's going to, you know, get his shit checked, too. So right. I love Jeff. Mickey loves Jeff. Uh, We all love Jeff. Jeff, the biggest thing, Jeff shouldn't have been driving. Uh, He did not have a license. And, you know, then he's drinking on top of that. Jeff will take care of Jeff and AEW handle the the situation the best possible out of a really, really bad situation. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, yesterday we had Jerry Cooney on, and Jerry Cooney, who obviously the boxer, and you know, in the late seventies, early eighties, and he talked about his alcohol addiction and how it kind of spiraled out of control, killed his career, obviously his personal life as well. You know, Jeff has had these issues before. Um, at some point, he just needs to, I guess, you know, come to grips with the fact that the wrestling really doesn't matter anymore. Like you got to put that, I guess, completely aside and just focus on getting healthy and his family because, Mm -hmm. you know, at some point wrestling is going to be gone regardless, whether it was going to be by choice or not, but he has a wonderful, beautiful family. You would just hope that now he just focuses on being healthy and focuses on his family. Right. You know, it's really hard, David, because I've seen so I've seen addiction and it's ugliest places on all kinds of levels. And it's just sometimes you have this um, and you you as an outsider will go like, well, why don't you see, you know, like you said, you have this beautiful family, but you don't really see it when you're in it or you think you're because we're tough. Right. And I think about when Jeff came into the business, it was a much different and Tommy can attest to this much more than I can. It was a much different business then than it was, you know, and and I even knew that as a female coming in, you know, whatever it was a couple years later, seven years later, whatever, and seeing it, it was still heavily influenced. So I think about that and then the culture and then the road and then the being away from his family. And it was like, and he's been at this for, I don't know, 20 some years at this point, like the same grind, the same stuff. And I don't know. I, and I hope that he heals and I hope that that whatever it is that's making him unhappy or whatever that is, is that's the he can he can come to terms with that or whatever it is. You know, it's 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 sad and I hate to see my friend suffering and I obviously hate to see him suffering in such a public view to then yeah. be judged by everyone about, you know, the situation. Cause everybody's going to have their opinions. Oh, he shouldn't have been drinking. It was, you know, and it was, he shouldn't have been drinking and driving. It was um, all the things, but I think that we've all done like lots of things that were pretty freaking stupid at times. Um, I just hope that he gets the help that he needs. And if it's, whether it's the addiction itself or whatever's causing that, unease that will you know fix the disease you know it's just i don't know makes me sad it, it, it's very sad and dave like i said it, it's the best way to handle 
uh, a crappy situation. And for everybody, you know, who fights addiction, you need that support system. AEW is offering that support system. I know Matt Hardy would offer that support. Everybody would offer. I had literally fans contacting me and asking me, hey, I live in Jacksonville. I'll help get Jeff out. And but like, I want to see Jeff succeed. We all want to see Jeff succeed. And Jeff, I feel, will do what's right for Jeff. But anyone that's battling any type of addiction, it, it's your number one goal. It, it's right. it's death or sobriety. That's it. There's two ways out. And hopefully he chooses sobriety because, like you said, you know, but there there's so much more to it. I'm not an expert to it, but. He needs the help and he will get it. And AEW is offered and, and stood by him. You know, his family is, you know, there's so many people that are phone call away just to help him. That's why they also say, hey, if you have a sponsor, if you're thinking of falling back, call somebody. That's, you know, what, what you're supposed to do. And hopefully he will do that because you could also look in their locker room. And there's a lot of guys who also have been that same place. That's and and girls. But guess what? Outside of a locker room, there's. You're going to go sit in a meeting with a bunch of strangers. This is yeah. a problem that everybody's had and hopefully he can deal with it. It's it just, right. it's a beyond unfortunate situation. And, but like Mickey said, then everyone wants to chime in. They give when you're at your lowest point in your life. If then, if it happened publicly and then everyone's going to judge and because you're a celebrity or, you know, you're a wrestler, people are going to judge. And that that's even more on your shoulders and the weight of the world. And plus, you know, he has, a family, he has a wife, and then just people go after that. It's just, it's nonstop negative when it should be positive about, hey, go get yourself checked and right. And right. that that's that's the biggest thing. Yeah. And it's, it's sad, too, because when you're a celebrity like a Jeff Hardy, everything is out there for the public to witness and mm-hmm. react to. And it's one of the things about social media, too, is it was kind of disheartening reading some of the comments that people had uh, about the video and about the news of Jeff. And it's just like, man, this is a human being and you want him to get help before he hurts himself or hurts somebody else. That situation could have easily have been a lot worse than what it turned out to be. God forbid. It could have easily turned into like a sunny situation. Oh, exactly. It's and we're grateful that nothing like that happened. And, and, you know, I tried to drinking and driving is one of those things of like, I've definitely had too much to drink and should not have driven, you know, like, and, and it's one of those things. I always call an Uber and and everything now, uh, but those things weren't available. It was always cabs before, but I think that um, we've all made stupid decisions and all always all have done. So I try not to be too, too judgmental about things because, you you know, glass stones and houses and all those things. How does it go, Tommy? Stones and glass houses. There it is. I guess that's it, Mickey. Yes. <laughs> no, those who, <laughs> who live in glass, live in houses, glass houses, houses should, should not, not throw, throw stones. stones. There it is. There, there it is. There throwing go. stones when you wear glasses? What? What about oh. throwing stones and no spectacles? What? Oh. Hey, this is who I have to work with on a Wednesday. 877-344-4893. 877-FIGHT93. We got some amazing guests who are going to. 